The virtual IV offers four training types, procedure training, anatomical viewer, single cases, and career mode. If you are unfamiliar with the intravenous catheterization procedure, or if during training you desire to review correct IV insertion technique, select procedure training from the training type. The procedure training screen allows you to view didactic educational videos about the catheter insertion procedure. To better understand the anatomy of the arm and vein location, click on the anatomical viewer. The anatomical viewer presents an interactive 3D model of arm and hand anatomy. After the arm loads, two lists of options, arm positions and anatomical structures, will appear at the left. To choose a pronated or supinated view of the arm, click on the corresponding button. You can dissect the anatomical structures by clicking on the button corresponding to the structure. Deselecting a structure causes it to fade, while selecting a structure causes it to reappear. This function allows you to focus on only the structures you desire to view. To zoom in and out of the arm, scroll the middle mouse button. If you wish to orient the arm differently, click and hold the middle mouse button, and then move the mouse. As you move your mouse over an anatomical structure, its name will appear in a box in the lower left corner, enabling quick identification. If you wish to practice individual cases, click on Single Cases from the Training Type screen. Your performance on the single cases is not saved and will not appear in your trainee history. In single case mode, you can attempt cases at any skill level. Each level has specific criteria and requirements for competency. When you rest your mouse on one of the levels, a bulleted list of criteria will appear on the lower left side of the screen. Once you select a particular skill level, you will transition to a screen containing 20 cases at that skill level, divided into trauma, medical, surgical, pediatric, and geriatric care specialties. To select a case, click on the case name. You will transition to that case scenario. Click on Career Mode for a comprehensive training curriculum that will advance your skill level and keep track of your progress. Career Mode is an adaptive training system that provides level-sensitive training and remediation tailored to each user. If this is your first time in Career Mode, you will be asked to choose your initial level of competency. Choose the skill level that most closely matches your competency. If you choose a skill level above S1, you will be transitioned to a qualifying test which you will need to pass to begin training at this level. Answer all 10 questions and advance to the next screen. The test results screen will show your test score. It will indicate if you passed or failed and provide the correct response to incorrect choices. If you do not pass, you will be transitioned to a qualifying test at a lower level of competency. If you pass the qualification test, you will be taken to your first case scenario and begin your career mode training. You will also be required to take cognitive tests to advance to higher levels.